that obviously have you know followed this um, initiative, which starts at four years ago in 2016. This is the fourth year, and we're very excited that as, a, as an organization, we've been able to maintain this initiative. And so this year, um, we're doing something. So last year, we moved, the first two years, we had two days. Last year, we moved to three days. This year, we're doing four days. And what four days allows us to do um, is it allows us to accommodate more of the small businesses. So the vision behind the Food and Drink Initiative remains the same. It's promoting enterprise, and it focuses on small businesses in the food industry. As an organization, we believe that banking and the way we think about banking has to change, has changed. And so this is one initiative that has come about how we think about um, the customer, the value proposition for our customers and also for our stakeholders. And we look at it and think, how do you um, take as a size, as an organization, how do you ensure that customers are able to benefit? How do you find the, the um, what do you call the synergies that allow people excel, that allow different customer segments, that can allow them to propel their businesses? And so we thought about doing um, the, this initiatives. So it's a free business platform and allows small businesses to come to the um, food and drink events. It's completely free. All the stores are completely free. We all walk day and night and tirelessly. And for us, I think what is always rewarding is just seeing all the businesses come. People like you and I come there, we patronize and you know, give them the right exposure. And so that's that's the that's the vision. That's the vision um, from the CEO for um, this initiative. And so this year, um, four days allows us to have two sets of small businesses. So we'll have two sets of small businesses doing Sunday and Monday. Um, so, and it gives everybody, every set, one non-working day. So Sunday and Monday, and then we have another set to Tuesday and Wednesday. So um, that's how we're going to run it. So this year we'll be accommodating about 300 small businesses. In the past, we've been able to do 140, 150. And this year we're going to be able to do up to 300 small businesses. And um, so that's, that's what's very exciting about this year. It's four days, and, and we're hoping that that's where we need you. Obviously, we need all the businesses to ensure that it's rewarding for them, and that we can support each other as um, also as, as as Nigerian citizens. The Nigerian businesses they're doing. You can see some of the testimonial um, videos. People have started doing businesses in six months. The platform allowed them, you know, um, dream. I, I was watching a testimonial of someone who said she attended two years ago. And it gave her the vision and gave her the, um, the, the, the inspiration to set up her own food business. And she was um, she, she applied this year and she was um, shortlisted. And so she's part of the event this year. And so those are the sort of success stories for us. Those are the things that inspire and motivate us as an organization to remain committed to this, um, to supporting this platform. Um, I'm sure some of you, if you come, you can obviously interact with small businesses. They can tell you their own experiences, and, um, and so that's the key takeaway for us: is you know how he allows us, he allows people, not just our customers, but sometimes so not just our customers. Because like someone said, I walked in there, and that gave me the inspiration to set up my business. And so those are the things that are very important about the food and drink, as well as the fashion weekend. Um, this year, in terms of the lineup, I think you have uh, the, the schedule. We're going to have 15 master classes uh, this year, and um, so and I think we, it's quite diverse. Um, so we try to cover different aspects of food, from the cooking to pastry to food photography to mixology to um, we have some cooking classes, cooking on classes where people can members of the um, audience who are in the master class can also participate in, in the cooking sessions. And um, yes, I think that's about it. So we start on Sunday, 28th of April, and um, the master classes, which requires registration, attendance is completely free. Um, the master classes require registration. We start at 2 and we'll go all the way to 8.20. And day 2, Monday, 29th of April, Master classes start at 5 and we we'll go all the way to 7.15. Day 3, Tuesday, 30th, master classes start at 5 and end at 7.15. And day 4, Wednesday, 1st of May, which is a public holiday, master classes start at 12. 
and we run all the way to um, 8 p.m. Um, for you members of the press, we um, have a location for you to um, go into the master classes. So, um, um, do code um, ensure that you get your passes um, once you're at the venue. So you can go to the master classes as well, so that you can it gives you so that you can obviously just you know it allows you then report from your own perspective and um, what you say. How do you intend to control the prices? Because uh, the last time I came, there was um, one of the small businesses you talked of, uh, a woman selling Accra, and she gave me one ridiculous price. It's whether she said one was a three fifty, very high price. I think I mentioned it in my write up there. So, do you have any plans? How do you intend to control the price? Okay. And again, please, then, how, what does it cost GTB, yes? Like you said, um, you just want to enrich lives, fine. But then, how, how much do you, how does it, what does it cost you people to put these things together every year? Thank you. Price, price of goods. So, so we have um, sessions, we engage all the vendors, which we started doing last week, and we're still, we're going to do another one today. And so we noticed from the first year, in fact, what happened the first year was as the queues got longer, the prices were increasing. So even if you're right, you could have bought your chicken for 500 and the person right behind you buy it for 800 naira. So we noticed that the first year. And so we, we continue to um, tell and tell the SMEs. We can only, it can only be through moral suasion because sometimes as much as we have people manning, you know, going round, you, I might not have noticed when their car person said, ah, come, you look like someone that should pay very enough. You see, this one chance, this is an opportunity once in a year, let me max it, let me max it out. Because, you know, you have, you hear those comments as well from the small business, say, ah, I made two million, I made four million. So it's one time. And so sometimes people naturally, so if you, you know, if you have that, sometimes you can, but we tell them. We tell them that they cannot change their prices. We would monitor it from the POS when we see price variations for the same things. Um, but, you know, it can only be done through moral solution, to be honest. That's, that's the truth. You hope that if somebody comes into a space that has been created for you, that at least you're also decent enough um, to, you know, stick to the prices you've committed to. And some of them do. Some people actually come and give discounts. And you know, for them, that's that's important. But I guess it's it's the way you ask. Why do you practice your own business like this? People would always have you know different um, business practices. But but we try as much as we can. In terms of cost, I think just like I said to you, the reason is the same thing. It's just one of those things you don't really focus on. What is the return for me? It's it's really less about that, and it's more about the fact that you know that it can truly transform lives. Um, you know that it can transform how, even sometimes, how organizations behave, how countries think, and how if, you know, how you, you just, it's, it has so many dimensions to it that it's, the cost is irrelevant. Obviously, as an organization, we'll always be disciplined. We're never going to do anything as you're going to, you know, we're still, you know, we, we, we're, still, we're still accountable to our shareholders. And so you have processes, obviously, internally that will guide you in terms of the budgets. Um, but I think it's less about that and just really more about how rewarding it is. But we'll always, obviously always be guided.